Hey, hey, my community, Jeff here again for a little fun time. This is just a little show and tell. So this is, I saw someone else had done this the other day and it reminded me and I thought, you know, I haven't done that in a while, but we're looking, of course, if you've seen the title already, these are the most expen most, yeah, most expensive items per Discogs. Everything I have is logged into Discogs, so I've got it all cataloged. I did one of these in 2020. I think I looked at maybe five items. And then I did it again in later 2022. And so I thought, well, let's take a look again. So here we are in, you know, approaching mid 2024. So about a year and a half later. And I did, I went back and looked at my previous videos. And only one item from the first video I did in 2020 is actually on the list still. And then four items from 2022 are on the list around the same place. Well, we'll see that when we get there. So what I've done is I'm looking at strictly the median prices. You got the, you know, you got the, the lower price and then you got the higher price. So the most it's sold for, the least it's sold for. Median tends to be about the average, the average going price for this album. Uh, and so I did only look at vinyl and uh, I am going to do one on, on CDs because I was surprised. I pulled a list of that and found, I was pretty shocked and I should probably sell some CDs. But um yeah so but let's look strictly at vinyl and we're going to start going from the bottom from the lowest to the highest now i did exclude obviously box sets things like that things of a larger capacity which were you know higher in price i ignored all those i'm looking at single releases not single albums but single releases so a single title not a box set and not a box set that has like extra stuff you'll see it's all single titles only one of them might be pushing the envelope a little so um coming up first which is a new one on the list at number 10 is demon hunters war album um they released two albums at the same time war and peace i don't know why but war is now showing a median price of 115 dollars so my list is already the lowest in my list is at 115 dollars so uh, I don't know. You know, this is a, a few albums ago. It's a great album. War and Peace. Peace tended to be a little more, the songs tended to be a little more on the laid back side. And then War was a little more on the aggressive side. Though, honestly, there's not a radical amount of difference. But yeah, Demon Hunter on the list for the first time. All right, and this is the one that might be kind of stretching it. And that's Dream Theater's Astonishing. Now, the reason it's stretching is because technically it's a box set, but it's really not. It's one album. But because of the length of the album, it's four records. So it's got a four vinyl set to incorporate a double CD set. So it's not that it meant to be a box set. It is a single album that just happens to come in a box. So of all the releases, this is the only one that is, you know, there's a lot of double record sets in here, but this is the first one that's going to be considered you know, a, a four vinyl set. And this is only ranking in there $118 median. So it's not like it's, you would think, you know, some of the box sets I had were, you know, hundreds of dollars. So this is only barely $100, $118. Um, this is the Dream Theater album that was, you know, a lot of people love it or hate it. It's kind of odd. It's got, uh, it's long. It's very long. And it can get kind of uh, taxing at times. Some of the, it, it's it's got a lot of low spots so but it's like a you know great big rock opera tells a story and everything all right moving on to number eight and i don't know why this is on here kiss psycho circus this is just a 2014 reissue nothing special i don't know why this would sell for up to 120 dollars on average i don't know i i don't know i can't explain this i don't know this is this was not on the list ever before and i don't know why all of a sudden it is now i don't know if there's a reason this has gotten scarce or something but this one shocked me 120 dollars for a fairly regular kiss album i don't know all right number seven now this one has been on the list before it was on the list last time i think it was even on the list the first time and that's michael sweet's 10 album this was number five so it has dropped on this particular list but it has went up in price initially it was number five at like somewhere under 120 dollars now it is at 130 dollars and you know it's a pretty cool set um rat pack records and they release things you know on a fairly small basis um it comes with the seven inch 
the, to, to incorporate all the songs on, on one record. And it's kind of a, comp, uh, a a deluxe packaging. It's got some, I think, photos and stuff. They always do that with Rat Pack records, so they always do a great job. So I don't know, but it has went up in price to 130 median, but it has dropped on my list to number seven. So that just tells you it's going to skyrocket from there a little bit more. Live at Donington. I bought this album last summer for my birthday. I, my wife's, I knew it was a lot of money and my wife's like, buy it. I said, this is a hard album to find and it costs a lot of money. And she said, buy it. I bought it and you know, it's, it's a great album and it is now ranking at $130. So I definitely, I paid like half that. And it's, uh, you know, so it is it's double that. I could try to sell it if I really wanted to. But yeah, I mean, you know, we know it's not about selling. And we don't buy records to, to, to make money. And we don't buy records to, to turn around and flip and resell. But it's neat sometimes to look and think, you know, do I have anything that's actually, you know, increasing a little in value as far as popularity that people want it? So yeah, anyway, this one has uh, increased as far as what I paid for it. Uh, to an average of about $130. Um, so yeah, great stuff there. Uh, number five, this one was another shocker, Becoming the Archetype. This album just came out, I think, last year. Late 2022, early 2023, somewhere around there. The band Becoming the Archetype, kind of a death metal band. They were around and then they took a break for a long time. It's probably been 10, al 10 years since the last album. They come back. Uh, with one of the original singers and they put this album out and it's like I say it's a brand new release but and it hasn't sold a lot on disc guide so that's probably why but the one that did sell or the price that they're setting at is $139 all right up next this one was on the previous list from 2022 and it was at number six and it has went up in price now it is at number four and it's King's X Dogman um, at the time this was on my 2022 list, I had just recently picked this up. One of the harder ones to get was expensive. Uh, and I found a guy on Facebook that sold me a copy for not much more than what it was selling in the store. He had paid that much for it. He wanted his money back. Uh, so he, he sold it to me. I haven't opened it because it's one of those things. So I haven't opened it. Um, but anyway, now it's ranking up there at a hundred and fifty dollars. So more than rough well about roughly three times what i paid for it is what it has jumped up in price for um and so yeah i don't know why that one has become such a popular one but you know might be a good sign for them to repress it all right and then coming at number three this one was on the previous 2022 list uh it was at number three at the same time so it's still at number three on the list though it has went up in price now to 161 dollars and that's dream theater six degrees of inner turbulence Music on Vinyl did, you know, some fairly limited pressings of a lot of the Dream Theater albums. Some of them I still, I can't get because, again, they're up there in price more than this in some cases. Um, but these I was able to score not too terribly long after they came out. I probably paid more than fair share for them, but I didn't, you know, I never spend a lot of money for records. I just find it hard to pull the trigger for, you know, really, it had to be really really worth it for me to spend much more than like fifty dollars on a record or so so these were all within reasonable price range at the time and now you know they're up there 160 dollars if i had to buy this today i probably wouldn't one of the albums there one of the dream theater albums well it was a box set um and i really really want it and it's it's hovering up close to like 170 dollars and kind of hard for me to justify that at this point anyway coming number two another dream theater one and this one also was on my previous list but it was at number four so it has moved up and it has moved up in price also to 190 dollars median price on discogs scenes from a memory 1999's album i've shown this quite a few times recently because it has come up in other threads and other comments and stuff so one of my favorite what i consider you know dream theater would just great album great album great album great album and then they put this album out and it just kind of to me, it was like a high water mark, and then just you know, launched them into even further greatness musically than than, than I had seen before. So anyway, scenes from memory, uh, yes, excellent album, 190 median, and number one was number one, I believe, on one of the previous lists, the probably the one from 2020. 
uh, I, I don't even think it made it to the other. I don't know how it couldn't have made it. Maybe I didn't include it because really there's, it's kind of a stretch. Firepower by Judas Priest. Let me tell you what happened with this as I told in the story when I first shown it. This is the edition that's on the black and yet red splatter. This is the edition that came with the card on the front that had the autograph of the band. And so it was an exclusive release and it's now selling for a median price of like $240. So most expensive album in my collection at number one. However, what I assume somebody did is they bought it. They kept the autograph. They sold the record. So I have the exclusive only color variant release that came with the autographs but i don't have the autographs mine may not be worth the 240 the albums themselves though are the exclusive only available at that point so it's probably still worth a pretty penny because it is a little more exclusive but again probably not worth the full 240 but that just goes to show you that 240 is you know a, a pretty good hefty price for this now if i were to have skipped this and dropped down another one obviously it would have been uh whatever number 11 was on my list so it would have been closer to a hundred dollars so there were quite a few in that area and some of the ones that i had on my previous list that were higher up are still in the hundred dollar range they would have been just under this but some of them have been reissued in various ways and so the originals are not you know worth quite as much anymore that's it for this one those fun stuff and like i said i'll do one on cds because i saw a list of my did my list of that i saw some pretty interesting stuff on there thanks for watching rock on and rock hard.